Hello, today we're going to create a modal dialog box, otherwise known as a pop-up window. To start, I created a new component called ZWP window, and in that I have the default view main and window ZWP window. We'll first create a new view, and we're going to call it pop-up. So once we have that, if we re refresh in here, we'll see our view. Let's try saving and refreshing. There we go. So there's our view. And now we're going to create a new window. And we'll also call this pop-up. Uh, pop-up underscore window. That will help us distinct between the view and the window. Perfect. So now we want to drag our pop-up view that we created into the pop-up window. There we go. We'll save, go back to our main view. Now we're going to create a new element. And we're going to create a link to action. And we're going to call this link, uh, link to pop up. Alright, so if we double click on this element and we scroll down in the properties, we'll see we have the on uh, action event. There we're going to create a new event. And we'll say open pop up. And we'll see the action in our actions tab. If we double click that, we'll go to the methods tab inside that method didn't open that tab, it's essentially the same thing if we go in here on action pop up. Now that we're here, we're going to go to the wizard and on the gener general tab, we're going to say generate pop up. And the window name, we're going to select the component here and we're going to make sure we select our pop up window. So you'll see under window name, we have pop up window selected. We'll Click OK. So here's the output generated from using that wizard. I'm going to uncomment uh, the line title and I'm going to insert my own title. And we'll say WP modal demo. Alright, so we're going to save this. Let's activate our new component. Now let's activate it. Let's go right click on the component, go down to create Ubdim Pro application, and save. Want to interface view, so let's see if we can select the uh, WP window. And the plugin name will be default. Let's try our save again. There we go. Alright, so we can test our application. Test. Alright, the reason we don't see anything is because in our main view, we didn't create a name for our title, so we'll go back to our main view. And let's create a text for our title. We're going to call this uh, Open Pop-Up. There's our link. And while we're here, let's go into our pop-up view, and we're going to create a new uh, element. Testing pop-up text. This will be a text view. And the text uh, property we'll put in testing our first logo. Save. Again, I'm going to activate everything, right click on my application, test. Alright, so we have our open pop-up link, link, we're going to click on that. Alright, nothing happened, so no, oh, we just had to wait a bit. There's our first modal, perfect. 
All right, well, thanks again for watching. In my next tutorial, we're going to embed an iframe into this modal window that will allow us to watch a YouTube video. Thanks again.